What is plasma? Brought to you by my book of chemistry with Dr. Y. We are pretty familiar with three states of matter in the world, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter changes its state when energy is added to it. Solid becomes liquid, and liquid becomes gas. When energy is removed, gas becomes liquid, and liquid becomes solid. However, there is a fourth state, plasma. If more energy is added to gas, gas becomes plasma, the fourth state of matter. The word plasma was first used in 1920s by Irving Langmuir, a chemist and a physicist, who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1932. He named it plasma because it reminded him of blood plasma. So what is plasma? Plasma is a cloud of protons, neutrons, and electrons where all the electrons have come loose from their molecules or atoms. Plasma is more like gas compared to any of the other states of matter. But it is different from gas. In gas, the electrons are all bound to the nucleus. But in plasma, the electrons are free to move around the system. Also, plasma has a collective behavior, meaning plasma acts as a whole. For example, plasma can flow like a liquid. Because plasma is made up of electrically charged particles, such as electrons and protons, it is strongly influenced by electric and magnetic fields. Did you know that 99.9% .9 of the universe is comprised of plasma? You probably encounter plasma every day, but may not recognize it. So what are the examples of plasma? Number 7. Northern Lights Northern Lights are observed near the magnetic North Pole. When charged particles from the sun strike air particles in Earth's atmosphere, the air lights up. The most usual yellow-green color comes from oxygen molecules located about 60 miles above the Earth. Best places to watch Northern Lights in Canada are Yukon, Nunavut, and Northwest Territories. Number 6. Plasma Ball Have you ever touched a plasma ball when it's on? Place your fingers on the glass and you'll see colorful strands of light drawn to your fingers. How does it work? Well, the electrode at the center of the plasma ball emits a high-frequency, high-voltage, alternating electric current. The glass ball is filled with gases such as neon, argon, xenon, and krypton. When you touch the glass, you create a discharge path that is shorter and with less resistance than the surrounding glass and gases. The current flows through the plasma ball and create colorful tendrils of light. Depending on the gas used inside the plasma ball, you will get different colors of light. In a way, it's like creating a bolt of lightning from the electrode to your fingers. Did you know that the plasma ball was invented by Nikola Tesla? He was experimenting with high-frequency electric currents in glass vacuum tube. Number 5. Lightning. When a column of electrons flows from sky to ground, the air that it passes through lights up with energy. Number 4. Neon signs. Neon signs are glass tubes filled with gases such as helium, neon, argon, and xenon. At each end, a metal electrode is attached. When the electricity flows through the tube, it ionizes the gas in the tube. This creates the plasma inside the tube, causing it to emit colored light. The plasma glows a special color depending on the gas inside. Number 3. Fluorescent Lights Just like neon signs, fluorescent lights are glass tubes filled with gas. With mercury vapor and either argon, xenon, neon, or krypton. When electricity flows through the tube, the gas inside becomes charged. This creates plasma and emits invisible UV light. 
The UV light is then converted into visible light using a phosphor coating on the inside of the tube. Number 2. Plasma TV Although plasma TV production ended in 2015, there are many that are still being used. Plasma TV has a display screen made from a grid of red, green, and blue pixels, which can be turned on and off individually. When high voltage is applied to a pixel, it causes neon xenon gas inside to ionize and emit UV light. This UV light strikes the red, green, or blue phosphor coating on the inside of the pixel cell. The phosphor coating converts the invisible UV into blue light in this case, making the pixel light up as a single square and create an image on the screen. Finally, number one, wait for it, the sun. The biggest ball of plasma you can find. The sun consists of hydrogen and helium gases, and its enormous heat rips electrons off from these atoms. This makes the hydrogen and helium gases into hydrogen and helium ions, creating a big ball of plasma. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.